I'm Shaniqua Linder. I'm originally from Sumter, South Carolina, but currently live in Omaha, Nebraska. I'd like to welcome you, the Mona community, to my studio. A little bit about my work. My work explores the relationships between chaos and disorder, whether it's applied in a non-traditional landscape or portrait. I use a lot of different combination of colors and materials. The type of tools I use when creating certain looks like this is business cards and sometimes crumble up plastic. The idea because I'm doing all these portraits, I'm trying to figure out a different way to uh, do portraits, not your traditional portraits. Um, on this one is a uh, paint pouring. Um, what I did is did a combination of different types of paint and pour on top of it and kind of create some type of, you could say like chaos or some disorder um, into this figure's face, but also um, burning it and um, adding other materials to kind of like uh, break it up a little bit. The faces are pretty much people of imagination or sometimes a combination of people I've met through either like art shows or something I've seen on TV and also you know going to bed and dreaming of these like figures in your head and so I come up with all these ideas of combining all the research and information together and to create a, a portrait like this. My landscapes, I use business cards as well and crumble up newspaper or sometimes plastic to create uh, different types of texture. I try to mimic things that are kind of like wavy-like, kind of dream-like. Like I was mentioning with my portraits, there are kind of dreams that this call them mash together. Colors I come up with are mostly kind of soft and pastel. There was times I was doing darker colors but now I decided I'm going to lighten it up a little bit and try not to make it so gloomy. A uh, day in studio starts with research and also coffee. Uh, a lot of times I get my research off the internet. Uh, sometimes I draw in my sketchbook. Uh, kind to um, think about different ideas for my portraits because my portraits are always changing. Um, a lot of times I'm adding more texture, uh, less color. Sometimes I'm adding um, more color, less definition in the face. Um, it's always forever changing and I kind of enjoy doing this on the weekend because I get enough time um, to actually play in my studio. I really don't know what I'm going to paint until I actually put the paint down. When I'm doing the first layer of paint, I can actually see the image coming through uh, and then that's when I go in and start building it up with my crumble up newspaper or plastic or business cards to kind of define the face a little bit and sometimes it works out and sometimes I have to go in and kind of sketch it out on my sketchbook uh, to actually make it more sense. The type of music I listen to in my studio is K-pop house, and sometimes blues. Different music does create different types of paintings. A lot of times when I do my uh, K-pop, I usually do my portraits. Uh, a lot of times when I do my landscapes, I listen to blues. Because you can kind of see the combination of landscapes and blues together. It's more chill, a sense of tranquility. And usually you can see that in some of my paintings. My ideas that I put on Facebook for people to see or just developing ideas. It makes you feel good when people are like either liking or loving my um, my paintings. It's because I'm I'm going into the right direction. The object in my studio that makes me feel like my playful studio is pretty much I love this tool. Um, when I am not using business cards, um, I usually use this uh, scrapey tool, um, which it helps me build up more texture and also I find other ways of using this uh, when it comes to my actually doing my landscape. Um, my second one is my mystery uh, ideal drawer, my storage bin. Um, these are things that I find like anywhere and I throw it in here and if I'm looking for an idea I have to reach in here 
and pull something out, and this is what I'm going to use for my next painting. And my third one, everybody needs one of these. Which I have no idea what it is, but it is really cool. I'm still learning how to use this, but a lot of times I'll get that perfect texture and then sometimes I can overdo it and it's like mush. Texture is very important to my artwork. I started as a photographer um, that's my first love and I used to go out and photograph texture uh, mostly like tree barks or um, weather down uh, buildings um, and then just cracks in the sidewalk but then I take these photographs and I try to mimic it into my paintings um, at the time of how I can create that texture that I just saw on the bark or how can I recreate that texture on the sidewalk that I use and incorporate it into some of my paintings. I used to paint with cardboard instead of the brush. The brush, you're more control of it, but using a cardboard to paint with your paint, you get a different type of uh, feel to it. I'm excited to show some new work. It's gonna be pretty much the same as my portraits, but I wanna try to do a more playful play on it. Um, the two uh, shows are coming up will be the Venus Art Auction and the uh, Hilmer Gallery at the College of St. Mary. But I want to do more uh, sculpture um, because I love building up texture. So I want to see what I look like in a 3D form. And also I just want to just explore and have fun. The great thing about being an artist is inspiration is everywhere. Thank you uh, Mona community and everybody else that was joining me on my little tour of my studio. Thank you.